Hit me with something for an intro. Let's get it going. Let's get oh, the vibes shit. going good because we're back in the studio and it was rough doing those podcasts on yachts in Miami. Feels good to be back here with my oh my gadgets. Yeah, we're back, baby. Welcome back. We got a very special episode today. Not only because we have the clickbait queen, Lana Rhodes, coming on. Uh-huh, honey. But because this may be the last episode ever of this show. And that is sad, but what happened, bro? look, change this fucking tone of this song because, you know, I was starting off like it's a party, but there's real shit going on. Give me something a little more, you know, sentimental, a little more emotional, a little deeper, because that's how we're going to get right now. He's like, I you're fired and you're fired. I don't give a fuck. The fuck no, out. there's shit going on, but your guys' incompetence and your fuck ups is the least of my worries right now. I'm an open book, guys. I share everything with you when I come in here. I share my, my thoughts, my problems my insecurities my body i'm just gonna come right out and fucking say it i got cancer jesus is i went to the dermatologist today and they said that you have a, a form of skin cancer it is Whoa. it is you know, wait. Right. why do you sound excited like you just no, want to no, 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 i'm not excited like, but you like, act like really this tesla's mine no, no kyle no, i have I'm cancer not, bro. bro that's not exciting news that's just <laughs> Oh I had it God. operated off. Oh, What's they burnt, so it's they, they cut it off and they burnt, no, they took, they cut a sample to send to the lab, but there could be cancer seeping into my bloodstream, oh, into my brain. Let's redo And that. I post it every fucking day. No, we're not redoing nothing, bro. This is me opening up. <laughs> Boy, I laughed. It looks like it's you fucked laugh. Up. Yeah, you laugh, bro. That's Focus. This is real shit. We're real here. We're real. And I'm not no fucking fake influencer that's going to pretend my life is perfect. I will make another six-part docuseries on having cancer. And yes, it is a mild form of cancer. It's the, it's the most mild form. It's... The least deadly. I'm sorry. It's okay. You know, I, I I just thought that, you know, I have 3 million followers out there. I post shirtless videos of me jogging in the same fucking place every single day with my fucking tits right in the screen. And there was a picture clear, clear that I had something growing here. And nobody said anything. 3 million followers. There's not one fucking dermatologist in, the, in all of them that can chime in. Everybody tells me, oh, stop taking Ambien. Stop boxing. But you can't point out the fucking skin cancer. I had to go see my mother, and she got sad, and she said, it runs in our family, and you need to see a dermatologist. And I did that today. Bro, I'm four times more likely to get... Not not saying than the average... Than anybody, right, to get skin cancer, so I... I can laugh about it. Who the fuck would have thought I would have got skin cancer before you? You have to go back and follow up. Yeah, they gone. took a test. They sent it out to the lab, and I'll be waiting for the results. I'll be waiting for the call from this very sweet doctor. I'm scared to get the call because who knows? If she calls me herself, that means it's bad. It's like, if you, you ever take an STD test? Nope. If I mean, they're calling you, they'll be like, you got fucking AIDS, you know? How so, do you know that? How you do I know AIDS. that? Oh, it, Mike, my my Mike, friend Mike. told me, no, my friend told me a story one time where he went to get an STD test and they told me he had AIDS, but they tested him wrong. So for about two weeks, he was freaking out, thinking he was going to die. He was like traveling all over, like li spending all his money. And then he took another test and the doctor called and they're like, we were so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we mixed up your test. You don't have HIV. Damn. Yeah. It's my, one of my buddies in New York. He's a fucking maniac. Oh, you met him. I mean, I don't want to put his name out there, but I thought he had AIDS <laughs> for a week. Imagine that. Imagine thinking you have an incurable fatal disease That's horrible. and you have like weeks to live it's so bad i kind of live every day like that anyway so, so you, you got know? gaslit you got gaslit yeah wow look at you i love this hair this is unbelievable i gotta wear these glasses because you're hard to look at oh wait do i look better with the glasses on no it's just wait, you're glowing too I? much and I, I, i'm gonna it's gonna mess me up i'm gonna really? start stuttering I didn't sleep and... at all last night really I'm surprising yeah i look worse than usual right now how you doing steven how you holding up over there <laughs> i'm great you gonna be able to make it through this whole episode yeah no i'm fine can you look at me for that long steven <laughs> Yeah. You, want, you, want some, you want some sunglasses or something? Yeah, I'm going to post some sunglasses. Try the headphones just for a little bit. Oh my god. Did Mike tell you to compliment me? He asked me if I could get you to say things about him that are flattering. Oh, nice things. I actually just, I don't talk about him in interviews because I don't have anything nice to say. Yeah? yeah. Well, fuck him. I don't give a yeah, fuck, fuck about him. him. Yeah, he could do whatever he wants over there on that podcast that he does with his friends. I got my what, own show. What's it called again? The Logan Paul show or something? <laughs> Logan Paul and, and his best and, friend? And friends. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, it's Jeff that's, FM and his that's employees. That's such an old joke, though. Employees that employees. Will... That's a large word. I feel like Mike's not just Logan's friend anymore. Like he does his own thing. No, you did a lot but... for him. You gave him his career, and he knows that. <laughs> and I'll make sure to keep on telling him that. And now I'm even trying to mooch off a little bit of the clickbait queen. That's how I introduced you earlier. Oh really? The you already did queen. my introduction. Well, I had a lot of stuff to get off my chest, and 
What I did you say about me? I didn't want to do it when me? you were here because it's my own personal life and I don't like to make the whole show about me. It's about the guest and, you know, I got cancer. I have, I found out an hour ago. It was a form of skin cancer and it is the least fatal. And I was thinking of using that as the title, but I thought Lana Rhodes Wait, would be better. I can't because... Because I'm fucking nuts. Because, oh, sorry if I curse no, in front of the because baby. you're always oh no, he loves Rick Ross. That's like his favorite artist. So like you're good. You can say anything in How front of him. How can you tell? He like jams to it. Oh. Yeah. I used to work out in my gym at my house in Chicago right after he was born and I'd play Rick Ross and he really vibed to Rick Ross versus like Bobby Shmurda. Have you tried any other genres Wait, but, of music? Um maybe like some Christian he, he, music. Yeah, or he he listens to some like Bach. Techno house music get him ready for edc i'm not really into techno music so i i don't think that he would like it he's gonna like what his mom i've never likes. been like a rave person i think so yeah i mean some things no <laughs> 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 um, we'll get into that later yeah um we, you're so you're a fan of rick ross yeah, Mostly no, hip-hop? I love Rick Ross. Rick Ross is my favorite, too. Really? Especially now, like, that I had a kid and I'm a little bit chunkier. I feel like I need You're to go chunkier. for you the... You look better than ever. I need to go for, like, the chunky guys, like like Rick Ross, like Fat Joe now, you know, instead of the athletes. Well, <laughs> when I was growing up, my mom liked the Beatles, and now I like the Beatles. So maybe that'll have the same effect. I'm hoping that he definitely gets into the, like, my true, like musical taste is like the grateful dad red hot chili peppers so if he doesn't like that i'm disowning him well, yeah that makes sense music is is so important i listen to it, it all day long it's one of the only reasons why me and mike dated because we had like extensive musical knowledge and oh, it was yeah. one of the only things that we had in common mike and i don't really line up on music taste but movies really? we line up exact like his top 50 is like i got maybe my top 40 is in his top 50. we were bad on movies because his whole list is boy movies like I can't do the war I'm movies. I'm boy movies too. Can't do the war movies. What's the a uh, war movies? War or? movies. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, his are all like war movies and like fighting and violence. I'm, I'm like, why do you want to really... see people like slitting each other's throats? That's crazy to me. Yeah. That like I, fucks me up. I mean, I don't like the throat slidden, but I like a, a good <laughs> success story. Usually, what about crime. the waterboarding? Waterboarding is acceptable in some situations. <laughs> in the boy movies, they have that a lot. In the boy movies. Yeah. Wow. Like, I always see the waterboarding, and I'm like, that's what crazy. Did you watch? <laughs> I don't know. My I used to be married, and my ex-husband, he was, like, really into the boy movies, too. And, like, I'd always see waterboarding. And at first, I was like, why are they... <laughs> putting cloth on this what, guy's face what is your type in a man because you put like oh. I, I mean we could it's public Physically? information we've we've had a little a little flirty online moments but mike was in the middle because you were dating him yeah uh, do you have a type is it are me and mike similar in type because <laughs> we both do youtube and we're from the east coast because i no, I, I actually don't like youtubers like east coast might be a plus actually the reason why i had a crush on you before it's not because you're my type it's because you reminded me of someone who I was obsessed with before, but he wasn't my type either. Ryan Reynolds? No, no, he's not like a famous dude. It was just this HVAC worker at the gym that I was obsessed with, and he would not give me a shot. And so it's like I was trying to like vicariously Maybe, live out that fantasy you, through you because yeah. you guys have the same demeanor, just like similar face aesthetic. And so I was like pretending that you were this HVAC worker and I was yeah. hitting on you and I was like maybe I can just pretend that he's Tommy and like get this fantasy and I was with. playing hard to get to but not yeah. because of yeah. you and nothing to do with you just because obviously you were with my best friend and it's just you guys weren't friends at the time still I don't I don't like you know just messing up relationships like that I you know? texted Jeff like at 4 a.m. one time I was like hey it's your simp Lana Rhodes and he never responded until it was 4 now I was asleep. to I get me on the podcast no, no 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 okay it's really sweet that you asked me to do this because I wanted to shoot with you more. I know that last barbershop episode we did, didn't it didn't go so well. I actually cried after it because I had the crush on you and then you were like, does she still suck black dick? Well, I didn't know if you were still doing <laughs> no, any of that stuff and I, I knew you were trying to put it behind you. I learned that after. Yeah. Just to clarify, I did not say black dick. I just said getting railed <laughs> on camera and that wasn't even me. They wrote it on the cards. The I producers mean, did it. it I was, mean, honestly... I would prefer to it be black dick okay, than but just I'm not being grilled by bringing, any I'm, dick. I'm not, but... going, I'm not going there. We didn't go there. <laughs> Whatever. I went into it like I do my research the night of um, when I'm going to shoot or the night before real quick. And I'm like, okay, it's Lana. You know, she's dating my friend Mike. And yeah. I'm going to break this guy's balls. And I didn't consider your feelings. And I apologize for uh, that. It's okay. Honestly, it, it would have been not as bad if I didn't have a crush on you. Like that, that was just like the, the hammer to the head. So, so you're, you're not in the YouTubers, right? 
Uh, no. Oh, um, the news to me. Uh, no. no. Definitely not. Who do you think would win in a fight, you or Mike? I'll destroy him, no question. It's not. It, he wouldn't even take the fight. But that's that would never happen because we respect each other, and he's an older guy. It's like I. I, 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 I think you know? get, I think you get an extra charge if you do hit you, a senior citizen. Do you want to know break? how to take Mike down? It's there's one like very easy way. I used it only one I time. Know several I, ways that I, I could think of maybe about this. This is just like a sure way, and his mom was really mad at me for doing this, but he told me if I ever try to cheat on you you can beat me and so like I didn't beat him but I knew exactly what to do I started kicking him in the ankle <laughs> oh the ankle is his weak spot yeah because yeah because he has like the plates in there but his and mom been his mom kicks. was so mad that I did that <laughs> we did uh, that's that's really good you attack the weakness like yeah. he would go for my eye but that's fine I got another one wait you just exposed your weakness I guess they already knew to the whole world oh, they, but like for know. me I'll never tell the world my biggest fear or like what the weaknesses are because there's so many just like haters on the internet like if they get mad at you now they know what to do to you yeah people give me a hard time about the eye I wish they would have said something about my skin cancer that's been on my chest I do a lot of shirtless videos you know it's clear that I was growing something okay but here. I already know that you're fabricating the story because you said i just found out an hour ago and they cut it off they did the and then procedure. they already did the procedure so unless you have that's real he really did like an hour ago just go we actually go to one of the same places next oh, time yeah? yeah i've been going there for like five years what do you do there cryotherapy um so i just started cryo this last year but in new york i haven't done it here i do everything there i i asked you to do the hyperbaric chamber with me we could be stuck in a box together for an hour that would be awesome <laughs> uh, uh, it sounds that sounds very intriguing but also i'm terrified <laughs> and you can't get out right like they lock no, you in you there can't. you'd have to call the police to get you out of there Fuck, if you what if we early. decided that we hated each other that would actually be a bad date idea because well, you'd be forced if the conversation's really bad an hour with them can be just brutal but yeah then you learn to uh uh overcome adversity with each other because you're locked in a box and you can't you know what i mean well i don't know i don't know how nasty <laughs> those problems can get in one hour in a box you know where's a bad place to go on a first date where the movies that's what they say because you don't talk to each other and it's just awkward because you want to talk and get to know them you have all these questions but you can't talk because you'd be interrupting the movie. But the club is the same way. Me and Mike always used to argue about this because he loves going to the club. And I'm like, I don't, it. I don't like going to the club because no one can hear what I'm saying. And I want to like connect with people and have conversations. Mm -hmm. I like like a medium of like party vibe, like people are on drugs yeah, and they're vibing. Yeah, like but we can hear it. Yeah. Or something. Mm -hmm. Or maybe like a park just where like you can a, just go to like just do like some. Just like a dinner where people are also like on drugs and going crazy. Right. <laughs> like a fancy like party dinner? dinner yeah uh, can you eat when you're on mushrooms because i know some people aren't able to but i am like i go crazy i like drink granola somehow I could, I could eat a lot when i smoke weed and i <laughs> i kind of put those two in the same category mushrooms and weed Really? But I so try not legal. to do two at once because I'll get a little freak out and sometimes I get a bad trip. Yeah, I can't do weed. Makes me overthink things and get very like in my head and weird. Does everything get fake feeling? Like everything feels fake? I mean like on parts of my body because they are, but... Oh, I get that because half my huh? face is metal now. We feel that when we're not high. Like if I grab my boobs right now, they would feel fake. <laughs> well, I, was, I was talking about like if you like, looked at your hand and it looked fake. No, that doesn't it, happen it, 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 to anyone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, yeah. <laughs> All right, real quick, today's episode is sponsored by Avast. Avast is the global leader in cybersecurity for more than 30 years and trusted by over 435 million users. Avast empowers you with digital safety and privacy, no matter who you are, where you are, or how you connect. Enjoy the opportunities that come with being connected on your terms. Thanks to Avast for supporting Jeff FM. Avast's new all-in-one solution, Avast One, helps you take control of your safety and privacy online through a range of features. You can learn more about Avast One at Avast.com. Some of my favorite features of Avast is Avast Antivirus. It stops viruses and malware from harming your devices. Avast Data Breach Monitoring this is very important, guys. You want to take care of your data. This feature finds out if your online accounts have been compromised or your passwords need to be changed. You got to protect your data. It's a currency of the future, especially for big stars like us. Look, I got a lot to hide. That's just, you know, it's just who I am. I'm an open book when I come on here, but there's some things in my private life that I like to keep private, like this new cancer that I may possibly 
have, and you know, I don't want people finding that out. Avast prevents over 1.5 billion attacks every month with Avast One. You can confidently take control of your online world without worrying about viruses, phishing attacks, ransomware, hacking attempts, and other cyber crimes. Learn more about Avast One at Avast.com. Today's episode is also sponsored by Upstart. It can be hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel when you have high interest debt. Upstart powered personal loans can help pay down high interest debt all online with simple and easy to understand payments. Upstart has helped over 1.8 million customers on their path to financial freedom. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, Upstart can help you get one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. Take control of your life, take control of your funds, follow your dreams. Don't wait and check your rate today at upstart.com slash jefffm. That's upstart.com slash jefffm to check your rate today. And don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided on your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash jefffm now. All right, today's episode is also sponsored by Sunday. I used to dread taking the time and effort to fertilize my lawn, but now I look forward to it. Sunday's lawn care products are quick and easy, and I don't even have to go to the store. Everything is delivered right to my door. Your lawn is your personal oasis, and it deserves the best. Sunday helps you grow a beautiful lawn, control pests, and fight weeds without the toxic stuff. Sunday's custom lawn care is effective and super easy. Just go down to sunday.com, put in your address, and their lawn analysis tool does the rest. They use soil and climate data to create a personal nutrient plan delivered right to your door when you need it. Sunday's lawn care products are made with your family in mind. That's why they use ingredients you can feel good about, like seaweed, iron, and molasses. The best part, it really works. And Sunday is offering our listeners 20% off. Full season plans start at just $129, and you can get 20% off when you visit GetSunday.com slash GFFM at checkout. That's 20% off your custom plan at GetSunday.com slash GFFM. Now back on with the show. I feel like I very much do my own thing and I've been lucky enough to be able to bounce from thing to thing. Like I obviously started an adult and I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. And then I was like, I want to become an an influencer, an Instagram model. And then I was able to do that. Well, I guess technically I did porn, Instagram model. Then I was like, okay, I'm going to become a YouTuber influencer, did that. Now I'm working more on like the business side of things. So I'm not really, I'm doing content for other people, but I'm not super concerned about making like YouTube videos or posting pictures of myself on Instagram, etc. So what are you planning on doing now? What's the goal? Now you have a baby, your life kind of chilled out a little bit. Yeah, well, you need balance. So during the week, I am have no nanny, no help. Um, I spend every second with him. So I'm mom very much during the week. And then he has we, he's staring. He's staring <laughs> right at I'm you, Steven. He's scared. <laughs> he's we, he too. I take him everywhere. I'm upset. <laughs> he is wide awake now and he is eyeing you. Do you want to put him back to sleep? You want, to get, you want to get him his annex or something? Oh, no, he's good. I'll take one though. Yeah, so during the week, I take him to all the meetings. I take him to podcasts. I just try to stay as busy as possible. And then on the weekends, that's the one time that I do have help. And that's like, okay, I'm going to go and just like be me and wild and free. Because you. I feel like you really need a what balance in your life. Back to your ideal man. Let's hear yeah. it. Because do you have a type? Because I, I don't really have a type. I, I like all different types of women. I'm back dating again. I was in a rough spot mentally for a while. That's when I think you were hitting on me. And I was like, I don't want to see yeah. anybody. Yeah, I can kind of understand that too. Because when I was pregnant, I really isolated myself. When you don't feel great about yourself, I don't want to put myself out there when I'm not my best self. Is that sort of what you're talking about? Yeah, I kind of felt like an animal that just got slapped and it, or just like attacked and I was like a, yeah. like shelled up just like I don't want to see anybody because I just got hit so hard and I'm recovering it. Obviously, like appearance wise, I was still going through surgery to get it fixed and look back. Yeah, and it normal. makes you it makes you self-conscious. If I don't feel great, I'm not going to put that on other people. I want to be great and then also give greatness to others. But now you're doing much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a while, even after having the baby, I still was isolating. And then I was like, you know what? This isn't going to get any better unless you just put yourself out there because that is how things are going to get better is just getting back into it. Yeah, people don't understand. They, they just want to get rich quick or win the lottery or something. But it doesn't make you happy. You need to have some sort of purpose. Some, they say having a kid is like the best thing in life. It's like having your life restarted. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, no, it's it's been amazing. That that is one thing I've always suffered from like depression and ever since I had him literally the day that I had him 
like the birth everything was just i felt like i've i'm like on cloud nine since having yeah. them all the time i'm always just so happy and so grateful for everything in life and just being alive and having him like i could move to a shack in the middle of nowhere with him and be so happy and just content as long as we have each other i'm good what do you want this guy to be when he grows up ufc fighter anything that he wants honestly the only thing that i think is really important is don't become a tiktoker no just education oh, like okay being, yeah like i want him to be fluent in multiple languages setting him up with life skills so that he can do whatever he wants when he's older but other than that he can just like be himself did your feet grow a size when you were pregnant they did you yeah one size i used to be a really cute size seven now they're like a seven and a half they still have small feet but it's just Actually, uh, that's a one weird thing look, that i do they look big no, I was just asking because I know that's what like women say, their mm -hmm. feet grow. Every time you have a new baby, your feet grow another <gasps> size. So what if you have like seven kids? Oh my God. You you're just going to be a size big 15 foot, shoes. Literally. What are you doing over there, Steven? Stop uh, goofing around. See, oh, I would love to have a kid right now, but I'm, I'm scared that it would end up like he is just a burden on me and I don't want to get into this <laughs> personal stuff. He just disrespected me big time on our New York trip. He lied to my Italian mother. He came home drunk one night. And he was goofing around. They were staying in my parents' basement. And he went into the bathroom to grab something to spray on Kyle. They're not allowed to speak anymore to each other. This, they're on suspension. I don't even know how to explain this. He took the toilet bowl bleach cleaner. And since he was wasted and the lights were off. Did he drink it? He sprayed it all over my mother's basement. All why over, would he, all all over, all over Wait, Kyle. Wait, why would you do that? No, he's no, no. A, he's, he's, he's an idiot. No, it definitely was fucked up, and I, I messed up bad, but I didn't spray it all over her basement. It, I just Wait, squirted a little bit on Kyle's, like, Like, can bed. I just ask you, like, why? I thought it would be funny. <laughs> Look, I thought Kyle would react and, like, get a reaction out of him, but he it was It was bleach. Asleep. You could put someone's eye out with that. Well, no, I would not. Thank you. That's, that's Thank the you for mom the eye awareness. <laughs> yeah, and also, eye awareness is nice, too. I love that. Go ahead, Stephen. Tell your story. And that's it. I sprayed Wait. a little bit on Kyle. In that exactly. wasn't on the sheets. You know how you can avoid ruin the sheets. creating another one of him? You have to find someone who has great genetics and ask them for their egg get a surrogate and grow a child who is going to be more like me and my partner or like even better than you yeah you're right yeah yeah, yeah like you you want to you want to breed both. up you want to breed up not down that was my logic with my child was that i wanted him to have the best genetics possible and i believe that he got that now you're not keeping him a secret like other celebrities do where they like hide their baby's face and stuff until they like so like not, Brad Pitt and Angelina they hide some of their kids. No, I'm not like purposefully. So I'm not like purposely like oh like taking pictures of him and posting him like daily anymore. I just think that's not for us. But realistically, I'm so hands on with him and I'm in a lot of content for other people. He's gonna be with me. So mm -hmm. yeah, he's gonna be on camera. Even the other day, a makeup artist came over and like let her take a photo of me. I was holding the baby. Like it's gonna happen. Yeah. You have a beautiful child that you're raising now on your own, and you're proud. You know it's 2022, there's cameras everywhere. I don't get why celebrities make a whole big deal. Like Ryan Gosling, he hides his daughters with Eva Mendes. And I'm like, we won't... Really? I don't, give, I don't care to see their kids, but like, yeah. I guess I'm just that type of guy. Like when I see other babies, it's like not a big deal. It's, it's like when somebody shows me a picture of their dog on their phone. It's like, all right, they all look the same for now. You know, once they yeah. get a little older. But no, your baby looks different. That's Wait, a special baby. Different? It doesn't look like every other That's... baby that I... I seen Honestly, especially early on yeah so a lot of babies people are like oh they come out like ugly he came out looking like really defined features and yeah people, nice round head my head was all dented in in places it had to <laughs> fill out like he came out with full neck and head control which a lot of babies you have to like support their head as soon as he came out he was like lifting up his head looking at me he's super strong did you do anything special like some like some illuminati stuff when you got pregnant like did some special science stem cells or something to get a super baby? No, no, I just had no, like pff, you, you kind of hesitated there. I just had like an inkling that he would have good genetics, but like you never know. Like it, it could turn out even if you breed with someone who you think has good genetics and you have good genetics. Like both my parents are pre Olympic, so I'm very athletic. What do you mean pre Olympic? Like they both were qualifying for the Olympics. Yes. In yes. what? My mom swimming and my dad wrestling. So my dad, my dad went to school for wrestling. Like he was the top in his school. I also happen to think that I'm very intelligent. But you never know how your child's going to turn out. But he truly did come out with just like everything top level, I believe. He yeah. is a marvel of modern science. <laughs> wow. Lucky. Right. You Watch, know, because you never know. He's gonna, you never he's know. He's going to be like drooling and chewing on his hand. <laughs> would, you, would you ever let him become a, like a child actor? If like... 
if he um, wanted maybe. to be for me it's just like whatever you want to do you can do see i wish i was born into a family of entertainers my dad was a bus driver my mom was a secretary and in 9 11 where she took you right before you bleached her whole basement it was very nice of her to take you to a new york city trip but i never had like you know anybody to be like you can do this i knew my dreams are to do something in yeah. this business but i never had somebody that would welcome it even they would like Shit. be like yeah you're gonna go to hollywood jeffrey get a real you know that fucking job you idiot yeah i mean being a nepotism baby is where it's at yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so this baby will now have all of your support <laughs> but it's you not gonna be them? like a will smith type of rich kid baby you know he have like a- what is this I oh, we got a caller well let's go ahead and answer it welcome to G- Hello? Hello. Welcome to the show. What's your name, pal? Hey, this, um, this is Eugene from Oregon. Eugene, what's going on? Can I help you with any, you got any questions? Hi, Michael. Hello? How are you? Hi. Um, this is, this is Eugene from Oregon. Um, I'm long time listener, wait, first time wait, caller. Michael, Michael, can you hold off on the horrible acting? I have to adjust my headphones. <laughs> Dude, that, <laughs> damn, damn desperate, bro. So I've been following along your whole career and um also your time on the night shift uh on youtube and um i just wanted I to know uh, are you cosplaying a granny right now or what's the I, i'm not very good at the voices bro fuck mike's acting skills are not great they're not i wish i should have i thought you were gonna put like a voice change on me or something <laughs> you want us to do the voice change it's an impression bro <laughs> you're on the <laughs> phone there's no that other. was weak mike Mike, what's going on here, bro? Because you've been upset with me ever since I said Lana was coming on, and you know I've gone this far. Mike, don't you have without... a? Why are you upset? Don't you have a girlfriend? Ooh, <sighs> nice. Hold Lana. on a second. I called to ask the fucking question. Not to be <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's the what's the big deal? If you already have a girlfriend, what's the big deal, Mike? I don't have a girlfriend. I don't know mm-hmm. what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. We've been Stop. watching the night shift, bro. There's a new girlfriend in there every week. <laughs> yeah. Got him. Yeah, bro, you look like you just came back. Oh, my what? God. Here he goes. He knows better than just talk about how I look. Michael, no, how many times have I look, told you? What's he say? You look like you just came back from Nam. You got fucking camo pants on. You're glad. Like he, he always, last time I looked like Chucky when we were dating, my, I like the my hair. sweater. He understand style. Our yeah. biggest fights were because he didn't want me to wear a sweater to dinner. That no, was our worst sweater. fight. It was it, a bedazzle. It, it, ended, a bedazzle it ended in sweater. blood splatter. Yeah, yeah, he was wearing a Victoria's <laughs> Secret bedazzle. No, it was I am Gia. It was very stylish at the time and it wasn't even my sweater. So technically you were insulting olivia not me Can you believe that? dude i got no problem insulting olivia what the fuck i'll do that right now and more okay. so i would rather insult the new fucking assistant that you have. what's going on with you two That's what's going on sucks, what, what is the relationship bro. between two? when's the last time you guys spoke honestly text message um, dm anything. we hadn't talked a lot until today he hit me up and he was like yo you're going oh, to jeff oh yeah. oh wow oh all of a sudden out of the blue Finds out the how day of the little, shoot. How about a little context before you dive into it, Jeff? She was about to say why I hit her up. It was to support your fucking content. We so know I'm why you hit her up, bro, because you're trying to eavesdrop in over here. I don't call you up when you got guests on Impulsive. You know? Oh, can you ask yeah, them well, about me? Yeah, well, when's the last time I had Wait, Charlotte Mike? D'Alessio on Impulsive? I never dated her. I never. I didn't date. She was a guest on the podcast. I don't date every guest that comes on the show. All right, fine. Then when's the last time I had Josie on, someone you actually did date? I didn't date Josie. We just hung out one night. Wait, also, and- oh, yeah. Mike, Mike oh. did this when I hung out with Harry Jowsey. Well, I would. Uh, you shouldn't be hanging out with that guy anyway. No, like as friends. <laughs> as friends. Yeah, Yo, real- whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Whoa, leave Harry Jowsey. Leave Harry Jowsey out of this. I like Harry Jowsey. You didn't at the time. Oh, That's not true. I talked to him on the phone, and by the way, I had no issue with that. Also, who, the, who has a question? <laughs> me the issue is you that you were fucking me and mike the always that you what did you see in mike either. what what did you see in mike like what was the <laughs> thing that made you say i want this guy to be my he boyfriend he forced me oh yeah oh, yes. <laughs> really and then <laughs> i ended up okay so it first it started with mike forcing me to date him and then i ended up forcing him to date me so it was like a conservatorship like the britney spears thing yeah like it was very horrible the whole time you know how for much both money of us. he made off of your relationship how much he that, profited off that your was, face in those thumbnails that was like like probably 
what made him stick around for so long. I swear, like Mike hated me half <laughs> the time that we dated. I agree. I absolutely That's hated true. everything no, about I just, me. I was just waiting for things <laughs> for to get a little die, bit smoother. So you could take all my money. Even today, like, look, you and me, us just solo entrepreneurs branching out in our own lane, taking our own, look, Jeff FM, Lana Rhodes, doing our own thing, you know? No group that you were attached to. I used to be part of a crew and now you're out of it and you're doing great. You're thriving. You know, you got your own life, Facts. a beautiful baby. Yeah, it's I'm just here with me my crew, and, my boys and Milo I'm trying to now. bring up and educate them, but they disrespect me by throwing bleach on my Italian mother's Dude, basement and then they gaslight her and tell her it was <gasps> her. They were like, maybe you were drunk, Mike, Maria. Don't even start me on gaslighting. You gaslighted Michael my mother. Michael used to gaslight no, that, that, me. That word doesn't <laughs> even mean anything. That word doesn't even Says mean anything. Says the biggest that, manipulator of the century. Call me gaslighting. Dude, see, gaslighting doesn't this, actually mean this, anything. This TikTok shows, this shows, that, this shows that he <laughs> is a manipulator and a gaslighter because he just you, went off about saying it. Saying gaslight doesn't you just, exist. You just proved That's my point. That's gaslighting. You just proved my point. Gaslighting. You're a gaslighter. You're a gaslighter, you kidnapped her, you had a conservatorship, <laughs> red. and yeah, bro, I'm going to bring this yes. for you. It's called a stress ball. I was given this at the doctor's office today after I found out that I had cancer. Jeff, are you allowed to joke about that? Um, I don't know yet. That's new news to me. That's what dating Mike was like. Tell him the real reason we dated for so long. Give him the real reason. Because you, you you're said. making money off of me? He has the best dick. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just so fucking good. Just Clearly, tell the Mike fuck. The most, Michael, like, I've already big, big told energy. you yes. that I say that to all of my yeah, boyfriends. But you are a fucking liar. <laughs> oh, wow, that, that the, hurts. That's the biggest problem is that you're a godforsaken <sighs> liar. You can't just tell the truth true. for one time. Look at him fishing for, for, why fishing why for talk compliments. To a mother like that? <laughs> I don't want to hear about his your, your teeth genitalia are, your anyway. Your teeth are looking less yellow than usual. <laughs> I look I think. <laughs> it's always nice to see your ex thriving. Like, you get to see her right now with her beautiful red hair and her skin's glowing. She's in great shape again. She's even in better shape than before the baby, which is in, doesn't even make sense. And then you get to work on yourself. You know, you could see that, oh, maybe I need to work on my style. My, Jeff's, maybe I do something Jeff's new. Jeff's so much nicer than you two. The last time I saw Mike... He told me that I was fat. Bro. Actually, a week after I had my baby, I FaceTimed him, and he told me he doesn't find me attractive anymore. Bro, what the <laughs> what? Really? You're bad. Amber. You're a bad friend, no dude. One? I, don't even care. I don't even care. You could have lied. You could have lied. But thank you so much, Michael, because the rejection has made me lose the weight faster. Sometimes, you, sometimes fat shaming is good. I fat shame him too. So like, yeah. I can't say that like he the only one that fat shamed me i fat shame him and it's honestly to encourage him to lose the weight and to get on the dude, fucking dude, treadmill i understand something i have to say this and by the way i'm trying to drive and focus on driving right now too i have to like you have to understand this nothing this girl says nothing that comes out of her yeah, I'd, I'd, pull, I'd pull over her if you're on a big show out, you know my. it is true she, you want to she okay. used to fat shame me bro the re another reason why she dated me she would say bring your tubby little stomach over here so i cuddle you because she liked when i was it fat is. she would force feed me like i was <laughs> jeff like i was a duck getting prepared to become foie gras she yeah. would force feed me bro it, it actually is like the softest <laughs> pillow <laughs> ever your son's face she's like who is this guy <laughs> thank god he's not my father <laughs> <laughs> I would go to her house late at night after being clean all day and she would make me eat chicken tenders and buffalo wings. I would get agita. I would be fucking, I wouldn't be able to sleep, bro, because she would make me eat so much food because she wanted me to be fat so girls didn't like me, dude. That's what she told me. That's not you know what? true. I, what the fuck is agita? It's a thing. Jeff knows what it is. It's an East Coast thing. It only exists on the East Coast. I, I, I think it's I a remember. blessing that you guys are not together. I was hoping to I maybe know, we're like bring you we're back like together. Fighting. You know, I see Mike and he's a good friend. I'm grateful to have him in my life but i'm also really proud of you lana you're doing oh, really well you. i know why he called in now because he's scared I'm, he's good scared i'm gonna are. say bad what, stuff Jeff, about him night shift congrats night shift you've been doing really well i mean no you're on that podcast with, that you're, you're on your friend's podcast and i have my own podcast are you writing a book I'm about me you. yeah you got the book out mike you got good <laughs> stuff going a book. on he's, he's book writing, writing another book about me no you said you were gonna write a book about Dating a porn star. Maybe two chapters in the next book. <laughs> Relax. All right. Give him a little score so he could say something nice to end this off with Lana because I can't keep this crap going the whole time. It's hard to listen to. I know to. we can fight for, for hours. Audio listeners. People listen to this for motivation. They're working out on hikes and they got me in their ears. And then we got this crap. Get it out of here. Drop me, the negativity. Right, let me hear I am it. battling. Oh, I'm I am battling a fatal illness right now. 
Let's end this. Hey, Amrup. I remember the first day I met you. I was blindfolded by a friend of mine, controversial YouTuber. I didn't know what to expect when I turned around that day. But when I turned around and I saw it was you, I almost keeled over in my bean salad. I just was blown away by your beauty. And by your my wiener? <laughs> and, for almost, and for almost six whole days after that, we got along. And then for the next 18 months of my life, it was like a tsunami crashed over my head every single morning. <laughs> but it was worth it. Because let me tell you something, Amra. You Don't. turned me from a micro influencer. Don't make it about the numbers, Mike! <laughs> Don't make it about the numbers. <laughs> no, listen. Because you taught me a lot about myself. You told me that it was okay to be fat. You told me that it was okay to wear big TTs all day long. And most importantly, you ever seen this our guy? breakup <laughs> led to a beautiful, beautiful baby for you. So God <laughs> bless you, Aunt Maple. And God bless your maple syrupy hair. And <laughs> your incredible, incredible. Oh, Mike, with the music, that sounded so sweet. <laughs> Part of it, dude. Parts of it. Oh, I kind of want to kiss your chubby belly. Oh, they're back. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the bathroom boys saved the day. They saved your life there. Guys, I gotta run. I'm pulling up to. Uh, I'm pulling up to my friend's apartment. Uh, my friend's apartment. Okay, who right cares? Now, so All right, we're enough. 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 This is done here. Thank you, Mike. We'll probably cut that whole bit anyway, right, guys. I'm pulled over. End the call. I'm pulled over. I gotta. I gotta End go. End the call. Is that okay Yeesh. for you? Is that awkward? Sorry if that oh, was... Oh, no, I don't care. Probably a lot of talking over each other. Yeah, but it's fine. That's we'll what probably we do. him out completely, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, who really cares about him anyway? Do you like the Kardashians? I did watch you know the how, intro for it, which Kim I thought was, was like, cleverly shot. You know, like the new intro for the Hulu? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought I really liked that. I like cin cinematography, yeah. and I really like the intro. They're killing it with their production for a reality show, which is essentially what it is. But Kim was like freaking out at one point because on Roblox, they had like a link to the sex tape, to her sex tape. And like, I saw, I saw a clip of that on TikTok. And yeah. obviously I can relate. You think she was overreacting to that? Because it's already out. Like the, the kid will grow up and you know, it's inevitable that yeah. like, stuff on the internet will never get erased. You can't stress over trying to keep secrets. Yeah, no, I'm going to be 100% transparent oh. with my child. I also happen to think that parents who have been through a lot or have had a lot of learning experiences and made mistakes in their lives, they make the best parents because yeah. you have lessons to teach your child and they can look at everything that I went through and oh. say, I don't want that for myself. I'm going to do better. I agree completely. Are you See, I hungry? I had a horrible upbringing. I put my parents through hell. Uh, <laughs> you I, put your parents through hell? Yeah. Usually it's the other way around. Uh, no, I, I, I've been arrested seven times where I had to call them up and be like, hey, I'm arrested, I'm in jail, I need bail. And then like well, after the third time, too, they were like, click, you're done. Um, let me make this kid a bottle real quick. Steven, can you breastfeed her child with those nipples? He's got... We need Jonah here for that. <laughs> Show the nips. No. Absolutely not. He'll sh he's willing to show skin to everybody, but today something's changed. You have to ask him. Yeah, if you ask to see the nips, he'll show them. Can you show us the nips? Just for the viewers, not the, for me. Show the, the two-toned one. It has I'm two, two, I'm two different you. colors. Which one is it? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> see that? Where's the... Oh, the top looks a little bit darker than the bottom. Yeah, two-tone. Yeah, I, I like little unique things like that. Like Mike well, has... Like a lot of girls probably don't know this, but... Because they like fuck with him at nighttime, not in the sun where they can see everything. Mike has like this birthmark on his shoulder <laughs> that grows oh, hair. hair out of yeah. it. Yeah, it's, it's it's a little weird, but but I liked it. You like that? Yeah, I always, always like, want to shave that thing. Unique. I don't know if it's a barber in me, but I see it. I just want to. Yeah, or like pluck the hairs out or something. It's like one little eyebrow too that I always pluck. I'm not, sure he's got that eyebrow hair hanging out and that hairy someone else has got to do mark. it for him he's got to find someone else to do it for him i think you deserve so much better than mike honestly it's true i mean everyone deserves you are like a trophy wife everyone deserves someone great are you making fun of me because of that clip that went viral no i don't even know what the fuck <laughs> how'd you get in here how much of a trophy <laughs> how, how the fuck did you well pop it in and put the mic on because we can't capture any of this you can't even let us be alone for an hour sesh, an hour pod. Dude. What do you think's gonna happen? I don't trust you, man. I like that shirt, LSD, hell yeah. He's leveled up, Jeff. I know, yeah, he's doing good look. I like the shoes, yeah. You're looking good, Mike. People I mean, bro, you, somebody's gotta do it, dude. You gotta, you gotta keep people 
humble, you know? What do you mean by that? I don't really know. I just said it. I didn't really think it. <laughs> you have to keep it's, people it's a stock, humble. Or it's, no, a stock, I, I, it's a stock honestly, answer. Yeah, that like, exactly. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't think through it at all. <laughs> It was I could, the I first could, thing that I, came no, to no, mind. I can I understand that. Like, I want to humble these guys because he's getting a little bit of an ego. He's a little arrogant the way he, a he talks bit. back to me, disrespects my mother, gaslights her. He and makes me that is not. I gotta. I gotta say this again. That's not. Me, a, he puts me out to be some horrible person. Way more worse than I am. I didn't fuck up, but. That's not a real word. Leech all, all over his all, mother's it's house. It's all exaggerated. You signed a contract and you're paid this well. Much. And I could call my mother right now. Oscar, call my mother. Call you don't have to do that. Yeah, no, yeah, let's, now I want to speak to Jeff's mother. Yeah, Oscar, get my mother on the phone. My mom? Yeah. I'm on. Yeah. Mom, hit, hit the camera button so we could see your face for this. The camera button? Oh, yeah. wait a minute. Let me do it again. She sounds like she just ate some gabagool. Did you just have some gabagool? Very thick Italian accent. Yeah, New York accent. Gabagool. New York, New York Italian. Yeah, oh, there we go, Mom. No, that's oh, that's, that's, free feet pics. You got to <laughs> start it off in a room. You got the camera the wrong way, Mom. <laughs> Mom, you oh, there she you is. You operate FaceTime all the time. <laughs> there she is. Wow, I see where he gets the looks from. <laughs> We're all very happy to see you, Mom. This is Mike and, you know, well, you know Mike and Lana, his ex. It's, it's uh, a, or Amra. She, she is a new... Mom. Hi, this is my baby. baby, Milo. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, and all... I just wanted to tell you, you made a very cute son as well. Oh, thank you, Lana. <laughs> thank you. That's very sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Mom, we're all really happy to see you, except for one here in the studio today. You can cut to him, Oscar. <laughs> when did I ever say I wasn't excited? See? Hi, Steven. He, we, were, we, were just, <laughs> we were just talking about the situation in the basement, the bleach fiasco. What's wrong with this kid? You know, we had a lot of talks this week. They were on one week suspension, not allowed to talk to me, no phone calls, no texts to each other or me, nothing. Not true. We have footage of you hitting Steven after the situation. Are we able to play that? You're asking me? Yeah, do you approve if, the footage if we if we put it out there? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I want to watch it. Because he deserved it. Do you think he's learned his lesson? Uh, I hope he did. How's the basement looking nowadays? Did you get the new air mattress in from Amazon Prime? I know Stephen ordered it. Yes. The next day I got my new sheets, which I put on my bed today. It looks okay. Everything looks good. So you think there's a possibility in the future where you can forgive Stephen? Uh, well, I, I guess so, sure. Would you let him stay in your home again? Mm. Great question. I'm still debating that. Like as a mom, yeah. as a mom myself, I would say absolutely not. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even allow him around my son anymore. <laughs> Just throwing, <laughs> throwing bleach yeah, everywhere. You, you know, I gotta, I gotta, you I gotta jump got in. in Jeff's last eye. I gotta back Stephen for a second here. We we all make mistakes, Miss Miss Wittick. If may I call you Miss Wittick? Sure, you can. You're very, you're very. As I said earlier, you're very pretty. I, I we all make mistakes. I come from <laughs> Connecticut, right across the sound from you, and I've made quite a few mistakes myself. And I just want to say mm -hmm. on Stephen's behalf. He's a young guy. Maybe we cut him a little slack. He learns. He, he had to touch you the don't burner. Know, the, 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 worst, like. the worst part. The, okay. Okay. Before you shake, the worst part of this whole situation, the bleach thing, him coming home drunk, whatever. He's 21, having a good time with his friend, goofing around. You know, whatever they do down there, not my business. I don't care. The next morning, when my mother comes down there and says, hey, do you guys want pancakes? I'm going to cook breakfast. And she says, well, what, what the hell is this? Why is there white streaks all over everything? And they go... I don't know. Maybe it was Oscar. Maybe it was you. No one knew but me. I didn't <laughs> say a word to anyone. Wait, he, then, he told her yeah. it was her. Yeah. Her. And then, and then he no, goes, no, no. I never said that. And then she goes, Stephen, you have bleach all Steven. over your shirt, and it was going down to his pocket, even onto his skin. It looks like his skin was bleached. That's too far. That's fucked up. But it's true. <laughs> That's and so I'm making a point up. here. Don't try to flip it back on me and make me feel guilty. <laughs> so you tell my mother, you gaslight my mother into that's thinking that word. she that's did the bleach. And that's where that's, the, that's where you're wrong. I don't care about the basement. <laughs> I'll buy all new carpets for that basement. I'll buy all new paint jobs and everything. No, it's I, I the got fact scared. that you lied to my. Oh, you I got, got scared, and then five minutes later, I went up there. This and woman, the you truth. were scared she was going to strike I have to you. Tell you to tell you. Yes. This sweet. Well, Se wait a minute. It's not my house. It's not my house. I've, I was there only for like three days. I don't know where I'm at. Like, you know what I mean? This is like all new environment to me. Your so mom's spray bleach house. on it. And I got so scared, I was like shaking. <laughs> threw a I mean, I, Stephen, I like you don't have to. Five you know, minutes, I hold Steve, a line. You don't have to sell me on it. I, I believe. Mike said a lot of terrible things. Mike used to be addicted to heroin. Mom, remember the stuff you found in my room that that mm -hmm. one time? The, all yeah, those it's pills. Because Mike's also mm -hmm. a fucking gaslighter. That's why he's on that, Stephen's side. I'm sorry. Side. That that word once again it is not, not real. real. It's not a real word. It's a fun he's, word to he's say. He's gaslighting huh? I know, the great, entire no. psychology community. No, no, right not now. I'm gaslighting the TikTok psychology community because that's TikTok's favorite word. Gaslighting is not a real thing. It is a TikTok and Twitter term. Miss Wittick, have you ever Let's you, post this clip on TikTok? You've come up you've come it's through so a lot. Hate. I'm sure you've been through a lot in your life, right? 
had to deal mm-hmm. with you know a lot of stuff with your your son's not exactly a shining example of si- of but citizenship. Now, number one, but but I'll, listen, I'll let me ask you this question: How many times in your life have you said, "Wow, I'm having a real rough time right now," and it's probably because someone's gaslighting me? Has that ever been your excuse? I think it's a new slang, Mike. No, I don't. Well, it's it's no. a real thing. I actually don't take don't make that like your dude. You're look, good, my no. my grandfather, my grandfather lived through the Great okay, Depression. Here's... You know how many times he was in the soup line, and they were like, "Sorry, no soup left today, Charles. You got to go home." And he said, "This is gaslighting. This ain't fair. You're <laughs> gaslighting me." Even, no, it's not. Sense, no, it does make it's sense. Term, it um, makes sense. Imagine they... not having yeah, bread okay, here's, to eat, here's, and the here's, Nazis here's, are taking here's over an, the world. Here's an example from me and Michael's relationship. We're on the car on the way to his mother's house for thanksgiving he randomly says hey i think we should start fucking our f-. i okay. get mad <laughs> i'm like i'm not into three ways that nothing n- he he knows Miss he Whitted. knows Miss he knows i don't want to have three ways oh, with other girls i'm like i'm like very faithful to him and i expect him to be the same way keeps making these three-way jokes and then they were jokes and then he's yeah exactly they're, the tr- they're jokes they're jokes He's becoming like a, couple then, ther- a couple's therapy podcast. And know. then he is shocked that I'm mad and tells me that I'm crazy for thinking that he would want to have sex with other women when he constantly talks about having sex with other women. Well, no, 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 hold on jokes. a second. No, hold on a second. That's I wasn't saying that you were crazy because Dude, you thought I, remember, I wanted... I remember hold on, no, no, specifically no, 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 sitting no, 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 in a bathtub No, 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 no. We're going to let you go, Mom. Thank you. Th- they- I remember specifically sitting in my bathtub thinking that I was crazy because of you. Well, no, 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 no. Oh, here's, I got him. Guys, I got guys, him. here's the footage of Stephen being assaulted. Oh, no. This is right after Stephen. That'll teach you. I'm going to put the lamp. Throw him bleach around the house. Oh, my God. Look at the bleach all over the sheets. You see the bleach everywhere? Look at that. No, bro. She got even more pissed. No, that was my fault. I'm so sorry. I didn't break the hit. Wait, she really drilled you. That looked like Mayweather. I mean, that's what gaslighting does, bro. No, 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 no. No, no, listen. I... She hit that was me. Like, that was a good one, Miss Wittick. You deserved it. And I fell <laughs> and I knocked over the lamp and broke and, bro- and messed that up. It was just double down. It got so it was so awkward. I felt so bad. I was so mad at that point. As yeah. I said, kids make mistakes. He's growing up. He's learning. And I got faith in this kid. I, I, next time he comes there, if you'd like for me to provide some sort of insurance policy on him, I'll personally back <laughs> it myself, Miss Wittick. Because of my ex girlfriend, I've made quite a bit of money, and so I'm more than happy to. Uh, to, to take care yeah, of that. Yeah, point to him, point to him. This relationship ends and you start working with him, you're both dead. I swear to God, you're both disappearing. Oh, mom, hey, man. Thank, thank you, Mom. Thank you for calling into the show. I appreciate it. Thank um, you so much. Hi, nice later. to meet you, Miss Wedding. Yeah. Don't okay, think... likewise. Okay, good night, everybody. Good to meet you. See you soon. Don't think you've got another squad to hop to after you're done with me because I don't fuck around. I'm not hopping to no more squads. Yeah, you hop to that squad, you're done. Well, no, you're not taking my talent. <laughs> Can I? If he's done in this town, he's done in this town. He's done. I just want to say something really quick. You're gaslighting right now, and I'm not okay with it. <laughs> you're right. gaslighting. You're, you're right. gaslighting us, bro. Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> telling me I'm, I'm speaking the truth, bro. I'm not making people believe that they're crazy. Whatever. I know what gaslighting means. It's a word that's necessary to be in the dictionary. I think it mm-hmm. should be added. It, it yeah. is in the dictionary. Yeah. No, yeah. you're thinking of yeah. you're thinking of yeah. dictionary. Yeah, ask me. If you, if you fire me, do you think I would I would have to some other YouTube group? Oh, this shit got real. Huh? I mean, you would try. I think it's real. I don't no, know if you'd be successful. Steven, <laughs> wait, she said you would try, but you would be unsuccessful. <laughs> I, would so say my, I would start my own podcast. You Steven clearly FM. don't. Well, you clearly That's don't funny. understand. That's you, funny. You, you don't like understand this kid's I'm, talent. I'm funnier I'm, than Mike. You guys are a funny duo. I just but. wanted to go on record that I came on the show in a very civil manner. I wasn't, ex- wasn't going to talk. I'm extremely about you. civil, and I have nothing bad to say about Amra. As always, didn't I say the same thing? Well, no. You told them that I want to have yeah. three ways with people, and I was told my mother that. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. Because did you would, not? Did no, you not stop. make a three-way joke every week? No. Okay, let me ask you this did question. Did you not? No, just answer. <laughs> did you not make a three-way joke every week after me asking you, "Hey, can you please stop talking about having okay, sex with other people?" Okay. So, if I said that they were jokes, was there a time in the relationship where you were serious and said, "Yo, can we go okay, find another girl right now to have a three-way?" No. Way let's with? let's did look, that happen? Let's look in hindsight. You said you wanted to have three ways with all these girls, and now what are you doing after we broke up? What you wanted to do? Living the dream. They weren't jokes. They weren't jokes. <laughs> <laughs> And We're you're jokes. living the same thing. You're living the dream too. You said you wanted to have a baby. I said I wanted to have group sex. We're both doing what we wanted. What's the problem? All right, perfect. But the I'm point is, you are a gaslighter, and I just proved my point. Oh, and with the music. music, that was yeah. Let's get back into some questions. Traditionally, we put out a tweet 
on the Jeff FM Twitter. Today I wasn't going to do it because I didn't you want didn't anybody. Just say that I, I didn't want anybody to get wind that this episode was going down because they would show up and try to sabotage, which happened anyway. So we just ended up throwing it up anyway. So we had a lot of nice submissions. Uh, people love you. They have nice questions that they sent in. Oh, I'm sure. Can we summer a video? Right, you can play some video questions. Oh, Hello, Long Roads. You were a big part of my childhood, so I'm a big fan here. I just wanted to say, it should have been me. Aww. Okay. Look at his look at his little eyebrow details. Yeah, he's got two I love cuts that. In him. He did both. Good job. Is that Oscar? <laughs> <laughs> this kid looks like he's doing hard labor right there. Or no, he's a mechanic. He's working the night shift. All right. Anything else? Is Hello, everyone at Jeff FM. Um, Lana, how many times did Mike cheat on you? And uh, <laughs> Jeff, you are sexy as fuck, dude. Um. <laughs> If I if I was a girl, I would suck your dick, straight up. You know, I would just do it. You know. Yes, and uh, Steven, uh, yes, you're fat. Yes, man. Yes, man. You're fat, but you're funny, but you're still fat. So, <laughs> and you got a small dick. I actually really fucked with what this guy had to say. He's straight to the point. No bullshit. Yeah. This guy says ha- says it how it is. Jeff, you're handsome. He called he called Mike a cheater. No, he didn't. He asked the question. Oh, and how many? Could, I'd um, be more than happy for you to, okay. to answer it truthfully. Okay, yeah. So when me and Mike were like a month into our relationship, he got a blowjob from another girl. Wait, a month into our relationship? Yeah, you knew you weren't when supposed did, so, to. So, you so, agreed the night before that you wouldn't. Okay, wait, hold on. So a month into our relationship. I'm not doing this again. Okay. I've and done then, this on so many then, shows. And then, I'm, I'm so far oh wait, past hold on. this, dude. There's one that they don't Are know about. And, right this, and this was the time that I went for his ankles. He was talking to another girl on Instagram and asked her to brunch in quotation marks, which really meant that he wanted to fuck her. Hold on and a so sec. I kicked him post, in the ankles. Post, post, uh, post breakup, like, you know those like little breaks that you take? That's when everybody we, fucks we're around. We're back together though. No, that's debatable. I don't understand this though, Mike. And also, and also, I'm I gotta just say this, and this is one part time where I will defend myself. We broke up and you had a child with someone else, like quick. not that, that like quick. quick oh, oh dude. but that was after being cheated on twice, mentally abused, gaslit. Mike, I don't, I don't understand. Here this. comes maybe, the gaslit. Maybe, maybe you could help me out with this. Now you meet the girl of your dreams, right? I watched the video when Logan surprised you. Where does the need to text this other girl to go out to brunch come in? Bro, we were we were like eight months like into desire to like get the hell out of the situation. Oh, so you're already, you're bro, already, you're already, oh my okay. god, dude. I like, thought it was like bro, you were let me, in love. Let me say, okay, so no, we hold had, on. We had broken up. It was the time that he put out the breakup video after breaking up yeah, with me for one day. it was after the breakup video. Cash grab. And then we got back together. Monetize, you gotta and add in there. Kept talking yeah, to some of the girls that he was talking no to on the break. <laughs> Imagine there was a sponsor in the middle of the breakup video. Now, now, now stay tuned Mike. for a word from our sponsors. Now a word from Mike, our sponsors. Now I, I know you're very business savvy. You do a lot of your own deals and ma- like you basically manage yourself at times. Yeah. I see it's very impressive. You get on the phone, Thank you're you. like, I got a big vid coming. Yeah. I want more money than the traditional rate that we, we're used to. For sure. Oh, he's now, great at that. Now. <laughs> When uh, you did your breakup video, was there anything like that back then? Where you're like, hey, we're something big. I got something nah, big. <laughs> nah, but up? that's what I'm saying. I, pr- I could have because it was a heavily viewed video. <laughs> yeah, I love him. But I like, love him. He says it how it is. You know, listen, I, I, once again, great girl. Absolute great girl. And honestly, it's... Why do uh, you sound like you're going to throw up? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I just, I just want to reiterate. Great girl. Um, but sometimes, you know, in relationships, things just don't work out. We didn't break up for any infidelity we didn't break up for any this any that we broke up because we're not meant to be together like yeah. hard stop you know what i'm saying what, like we just don't what's infidelity mean you can't it, have a cheating. cheating oh <laughs> no that was definitely part of the relationship speaking of that do you guys mind if i just cut to a word from today's sponsors okay today's episode is sponsored by roman if you're like me you definitely want to make sure you're operating at peak performance in the bedroom whether you're having trouble rising to the occasion keeping it going or you just have a very demanding significant other. You can count on Roman to help. I gotta say, this is the most awkward ad I've ever been involved in in my life. With I'm Roman, sitting here shaking my ex-girlfriend's hand while you're talking with a baby. My ex-girlfriend's baby's hand. While you're talking about sex wipes, like what, what's good right now? With, what parallel we're not, doing the, we're not universe. doing the wipes, so you do the wipes on Impulsive. This is, I do. Oh, this, ED. Yeah, yeah. Great is, product, by the way. With Roman, you get a free online evaluation and ongoing care for erectile dysfunction, all from the comfort and privacy of your home. There's no need for that awkward doctor visit or trips to the pharmacy. You get it all in private, right at your door. It's great. The whole process is straightforward, discreet, and will help you make sure you're performing at your best. Your significant other is going to be happy. 
Very happy. So get Roman ready and go to GetRoman.com slash Jeff where you'll get $15 off your first month of ED treatment plus free two-day shipping. Take advantage of this special discount and get $15 off your first month of treatment. All right, now back on with the show. Mike, how's uh, your sex life? <laughs> I'm not doing this. I'm actually going to leave and you guys should finish the show. Uh, not out of, not for any reason, but I, I didn't come here. To, I want to say this. Well, f- the first thing I want to say before I go any further is uh, I don't know if you know this yet or how often you watch the show. Jeff's audience is honestly one of the most intelligent, savvy, creative audiences on the planet. Oh my gosh, he's gaslighting. Uh, no. He's doing this so you what guys you? will go and watch the night shift. He doesn't actually care about any of you watching this. He just wants your views on I the know, night shift. I know, he's a cloud chaser. He's just, a businessman. Regardless know? of what's said, I just want that to be known. Number two, I'm going to vacate. Y'all enjoy the rest of the show. If you need me, you know where to find me. Just hang out for this weatherman's calling in. Just what we needed to tie this episode together. Very excited for this. What's going on, pal? You, did you find this phone at a music festival? I'm supposed to be talking to the, our weather man. Yeah, I'm trying to bring it to the lost and found. You you really found this phone at a... I was What's kidding, up? but... You know the weather? We're calling you for the weather. Uh, the I guess the weather man, he said he was going to be at EDC this weekend, so it was going to be tough to get it done. It sounds like he got a little messed up and lost his phone. But can you tell us? You know there's like a weather app on your phone. There's a weather app on this guy's phone. You could just, like, look it up, you know? Yeah, I guess we could do that. Look. I'm here with my little sis to say hi. 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 No, I'm saying they hi. say hi. How is it out there? Is it hot out there? Are you guys ha- having a good time? Yeah, it's a hot. Now, you found this phone where? I found it in one of the, in one of the, uh, what's it called? Those rave in one tents? of the porta potties. Oh, it was in a porta potty? Oh, wow. The porta potties. It was near the rave tents. It was near the rave tents by the, the in the porta potty where they... Where they have they go hey, to the hey, 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 Jeff, what, what's going on right now, dude? You told me you told me to sit back down. You know my time's valuable. The weatherman lost his phone. I this did. is important stuff. It's hot out right now. You gave me some kid all lit up on K sitting outside EDC, dude. You got K? Do you plan on returning this phone? I don't give a shit if you do or not, it, but... I'm too tired. I'm not going to go turn in lost and found. <laughs> the weatherman wouldn't have done that for me. I'm not doing it for him. It's a high. You know the weather's a high. I know high you don't, know, you don't know this weather, man, but you you got a good idea, a good understanding of him. He probably wouldn't have done that for you, so I don't blame you. I say you, you see what you get. Maybe trade it for drugs. Somebody will take that's that. A, yeah, that's always a good alcohol. idea. Yeah, yeah. facts. All right, Some well, thank you, man. This is one of, honestly one of my favorite weather segments yet. You guys have a vape? A vape or a baby? Wait, is that the uh-huh. guy from TikTok? All right, hang up the phone. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's him. Oh, the baby? Hey, that's, that's the weird kid from TikTok. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, I've my, seen you, bro. My child? Are you talking, oh, your are daddy you, Steve. Are you talking about my child? Oh. Wait, no, this, no, is, no. Wait, this isn't a real... Steve, t- you, is this a real video or no? Yeah, it's real. No, this is a FaceTime. Oh, I I'm not talk- talking about the child, but is the child on TikTok? No, this one. He's talking about this kid. Oh. He's a, he does TikTok. Oh, yeah, yeah, that kid. No, sorry. I wasn't talking about... Okay. I was talking about that Steve guy on TikTok. Because you were about to get your ass beat. Can you check the weather on the app? I'm in Vegas. No, ain't nobody finding I'll, me. I'll fly, to, I'll fly to Vegas and find you. All right. I'm at a hotel. But we're good, though, because uh, you weren't talking shit about Milo. No, I would never. I don't I do not do that anymore. I don't talk shit about kids anymore. About babies anymore? <laughs> you don't talk shit about babies <laughs> anymore? <laughs> Not when, anymore, when's, no. When's, I learned, the, when's the last time you did that? It was a bad time. It was before EDC. I was on a lot of case at, as well. Last weekend? But, yeah, last weekend. I thought it was... I thought it was like an old man, but it was definitely just a baby. All right, real quick, while was, you're while you're here on the phone on the stolen phone, can you just look at the app yeah. and see what the weather says where you're at? Just so yeah, can, yeah, can... yeah, yeah. You're a good looking guy. Thank you. All Everyone right. who it's calls a high of eighty nine <laughs> degrees. Eighty nine degrees. And it's hot tonight. Tonight, probably around the time I'm gonna be peaking. I'm keeping this bender going. Whoa. It's gonna be a low of seventy two there, Jeff. Ooh, nice. Well, make sure you stay hydrated out there, my man. You're a cool guy. Yeah, I got, we, a, I got an IPA. Maybe get some water in there too, or if not, you know, fuck it. Deal with it tomorrow. Fuck water. You know? Fuck All water. Right. Well, yeah. can you say fuck in front of a, a baby? Uh, uh, you can, can do say it, whatever yeah. you want in front of a baby. Okay. Just besides, I just can't talk shit on the baby. Um. Yeah. I, w- I would say you shouldn't talk shit about anyone. It's not nice. Hey, you know yeah, what? I you're, won't. you're a good guy, I, man. You're a good guy. I know we don't know each other but this was a nice chat thanks for uh can i plug that phone. can i plug all my socials you know what go for it yeah <laughs> all right instagram is at chat what's your we, phone we number lost him. we lost him we lost him we didn't cut him off he, he just oh he probably, whoops that was a stolen phone from our weatherman that i don't even Wait, know that i don't even know, you that, don't guy know that guy no 
He's at a music festival. He found the phone, but he did the weather better than our normal weather really? segment guy. Yeah. He's trying to talk shit about my baby. No, he was talking about this baby over here. This baby, this big giant baby. So there was a, a situation where your name came up recently on a podcast. I don't know if you saw it or heard about it, but Steven is 21 years old. He's, you know, <laughs> testosterone. God, let's not. Oh. The roof. <laughs> this is before you guys met. He was yeah. watching a video of yours. He was taking care of business. In the bathroom. It's disgusting, Steven. Yeah. But no, listen, there's a, think, there's a good ending. I think porn is disgusting. There's a good ending to the Yeah, I go from memory of, of oh. situations and real people that I met in my life. That's how I that's how I do when I when I yeah, got I like it. I actually like watching like podcasts and stuff like this. Like if it's someone that I think's hot, I'll just watch them talk. Who, Joe Rogan? You're masturbating to Joe Rogan? No. No it's not my type. No, 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 no. So no. I would think like I think Impulsive? that I'm sapio. No, no, I don't. Would never masturbate to my. What other podcasts are there? I mean, I know there's a or ton. Or just but like, like there's so many. Just like interviews, like with if I like someone, let's just say I've seen every interview of them. <laughs> really? Yeah. You and, can't give us an example of somebody. I mean, most of the people that I talk to, like they do something in this profession, so there's interviews of them. Yeah. Or like if it's like an athlete, they all do like that, like bathtub one where they go in the ice Cold water. Cold as balls. You know those they are fake, fake ice, ice cubes? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah it's what? a scam show made by Old Spice. They, well, they they don't want to hurt the celebrity, so they give them fake ice cubes. I was sponsored by Old Spice, so I know I have the inside you info. You got like a burn from it, right? Burn, yeah. From you know, Old Well, that was Steven, yeah. Oh. Yeah, but I really like that one because it's like great material. <laughs> What do you mean? Oh. For jerking off to. Oh, Yeah, it's the like a podcast and they're topless. So let me get back to the story here. Uh, we'll talk about that stuff okay. later. Um, oh, my God. So Steven no, was in the bathroom. And we would stay in Airbnbs to save money. We're a small production company up and coming, you know. So when we travel on these trips, we'll share an Airbnb. So he goes into my bathroom. And he's doing his business. And then... Which one? One or two? No, it's three. Disgusting, Steven. So this was in Miami, and he had one of your videos on, one of your old videos, and he... From pictured, Logan's vlogs? Let's just say that, yeah. And he pictured Mike's voice talking, ah, Steven, you're fucking oh. dead. And then he stopped, and he had to come out and be like, listen, I, I can't believe I did this. Like, I, 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 I messed up so bad. And now, like... You know, it's come full circle. We're all here and we're all friends, really close friends, like family almost. And this is nice. It's a nice moment. I mean, I have to I have to be honest. I've jerked off to Steven before too. What? <laughs> what? I might pass yeah. out. I'm gonna take a break. No You've redeemed yourself. I'm calling my mom, I'm telling him he's an, an okay guy. Steven's having a hot flash. <laughs> Oh Thank you, Lana. That meant a lot. It's hard to make him feel better. No, it made know? his day. That was really nice. Oh. I'm a nice person. You killed it. You're great at podcasting. I think I'm good at everything. Yeah, I see it. And You're my... an athlete. <laughs> I love your red hair. You're glowing. Yeah, I have the best red hair, too. <laughs> you do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. That's it for today's episode of Couples Therapy with Mike and Lana. And I think we got somewhere. Beautiful. 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 Beautiful Say it with me at home. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, that's it. We'll be back next week, guys. I love you. And remember, continue following me, and I will show you all the ways to success and true happiness and mindfulness. I did. I run a cult. On the side. Yeah, that's the yeah. thought that I was just having about that. What do you want to do now? Honestly, we should start our own cult. <laughs>